Hi, my name's Tom. I, I'm making this video to show everybody how I diagnosed the uh, what I think is a compression problem with our snowblower. The symptoms of the snowblower are that it runs fine at idling. Uh, sounds sounds like it's running fine, but then as soon as it gets into snow, it bogs down and starts to stall out. So it has no power under load, or very little power under load. I went through all the carburetor adjustments and even rebuilt the carburetor uh, because everything I read on the internet said that that's, that's probably the problem, but in fact I think it's a compression problem. So I'm going to show you how I, how I uh, diagnosed it. First of all, I went to Harbor Freight and I got this compression test, the leak, compression leak down tester, okay, and, uh, and I noticed that it came with, you know, one of the items that it comes with is this this tube here and so what I did was I actually made up a homemade adapter so that I so that I can uh, pump air into the cylinder using a bicycle pump so so when I hook this up screw that into the screw this end into the cylinder I I can uh, use a bicycle pump in order to pressurize the cylinder and so that even without using the leak down tester I can get an idea of how how much leakage there is. So let me show you how I how I'm going to do that. So so this end of it, which came with the leak down tester, I just screw into the uh, spark plug hole here. It's got a no ring on it, so you don't have to wrench it down. You just just hand tight. And then I'm going to put my adapter on. Again, it's just a, a rubber hose with a with a bicycle. Uh, tire fitting. Okay, now I got my pump, bicycle pump here. Okay, I'm going to hook the bicycle pump to it. Okay, now, now as I rotate the flywheel, I should be able to find top dead center, which is where both valves are closed, and and at top dead center is where it should have the most uh, compression, or in other words, it should be the hardest to pump. Now, you can hear the air uh, escaping, of course, depending on which valve is open. Uh, and as you can see, they're really, I'm going through two revolutions, which is what the entire uh, cycle is, and, and there really is no one point where the compression is is stiff because my you know my uh, I'm able to, to continue pumping the bicycle uh, pump so I'm not I'm not a mechanic and I so I don't know for sure whether this is uh, valid but it seems to me that this is indicative of a problem and I'm going to confirm that with a, a leak down test Okay, picking up where we left off, uh, we're going to get ready for the leak down test. First thing we want to do is make sure that the valves are uh, are at top dead center, or that the engine is at the top dead center. In other words, where both valves are closed. So I'm going to shine a flashlight in there, and you can see on the on the left side that white va white looking valve is the exhaust valve, and the the one that's black and sooty is the intake valve. And the way I can tell that is because because the uh, carburetor intake is on the right side and the exhaust is on the left side. Okay, so so I'm going to crank the engine as, as it goes through its cycle. And, and if you can see here, if you can zoom in on it as much as you can, okay, the valve on the left is uh, the exhaust, and that's going to that's gonna open first. Okay, see so that's open. And then as that one closes, the intake immediately opens okay and then and then now this is the compression cycle where both valves should be closed okay and and uh, in the middle of the compression cycle is when it's at top dead center when the pistons at the top if you look on the side here you can see I I make a mental note of where 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 it is so I can come back to that point and I see this uh, this thing on the flywheel is, is is near the top. Okay, so so uh, once again I'm going to double check by cranking 
through the cranking the flywheel twice because it it has to go twice in order to to uh, uh, go through the entire cycle. So first, the exhaust opens, exhaust closes, the intake immediately opens, intake closes. So that's our compression cycle, and and that's where we want to do the leak down test. So again, I'm going to check on the side here. And that's about where it was before, so that's my top dead center. Okay, now I'm going uh, to hook up the, the tester by screwing this in. Okay. Okay, now the way you, you operate this is uh, can you get a close up over here? Okay. First of all, well, first of all, I'm going to check my compressor, and the compressor is set to uh, close to 100 psi, according to the instructions. Okay, now the way this works is you pull this regulator uh, out; it's already pulled out, and I'm going to I'm going to set this so that this uh, the the needle on the the right hand gauge approaches zero. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, and as you can see, it's only about 15 psi over here, which is what it was last time I did this. Okay. So I've got the engine at top dead center. I've got that set, and and now when I plug this in, if there's any any leakage, then it's going to allow the air to compressed air to go past the valves. So here we go. Uh, Alex. Uh, Focus on the cylinder leakage gauge here as I plug this in, okay? Ready? So, as you can see, the cylinder leakage is pretty bad. It's, it's, uh, it's almost 60%. And that, that agreed, this is about the third time I've done this test, and I got about the same reading every time. So, so I would say that that's, uh, that's indicative of a, of a problem. So, we're going to uh, tear the head off and see what's wrong with the valves or that perhaps it's a head gasket not sure what okay that's it for now bye